1 John 5, 2. In tuto genoskamen hati agapomen ta tekna tu thau, hatan tan thaan agapomen kai tas into las au tu poyomen. Start translation here with this prepositional phrase in tuto. We uh, know this likely points back, right? This is an instrumental idea, an idea of means. Uh, by this, and it seems to be pointing back to the proverbial statement, the one who loves the begetter loves the one begotten from him, the one who loves the father loves the child. It's by this principle, the one who loves the father loves the child, we know that we love the children of God. And uh, I. Howard Marshall notes that though this is an indicative, it's a present active indicative first person plural, it it, it may, from context, have an imperatival idea. It's by this principle, rather, um, w- we know that we should love the children of God, right? By the principle that the one who loves the father loves the child. We note this expression, ta tekna tu theu, in that we have uh, the article with the head noun and the article with the noun that's attached on as a genitive. And, of course, that follows the ancient Greek grammarian, Apollonius, Apollonius Discalus, he noted that uh, it's known as Apollonius's canon, that you have when you have two syntactically joined nouns, they either both have the article or both lack the article. It's a very strong pattern in Greek, about 70% or so, and we see that here. So by this, we know that we should love, or we love, or should love the children of God whenever, hatan, whenever we love God and do the commandments of him in, w- in whatever way we're loving God and claiming to do his commandments that certain certainly should evidence itself in a love for God's children.